permanent residence portal navigation for private sponsors is divided into four pages. The first one is the application listings dashboard, which is the first page you will see after you have signed in. You will notice that there is a button here for creating a new application. However, you should know that as an invited group member to a sponsorship, for example, a constituent group or co-sponsor of a SAW, you will never use that option because only the primary sponsor, which is the SAW rep, will initiate applications for the SAW. Instead, you will need to focus on the applications which you have been invited to, which are listed below that button. You also have the option to filter applications by status or category. You will click on the View button to open the application so you can complete the required information and upload documents. The first page you will see here is the Principal Applicant's Profile page. This is where you will provide the basic information for the Principal Applicant and where you will add any dependents to the application and provide their basic information. The Group Members page is where you will see the primary sponsor's information. So if you're invited by a sponsorship agreement holder, you will see the name of the organization and their email address on this page. It is also where the names of additional invited group members and their emails will be displayed, such as the constituent group rep, the refugee, or an immigration rep for the principal applicant if this is applicable. As an invited group member, you will not be able to see more details for other group members, but you will be able to see the More Details button for yourself. This is where you will be able to upload your own personal protected documents, such as financial profile form, sponsor assessment form, and your ID documents. This section can only be used and seen by yourself and the primary sponsor. The application page is where you will complete the online digital forms, such as the generic application and Schedule A form. And you will upload signed PDF forms, such as the Schedule II and the Sponsorship Undertaking Settlement Plan. If needed, any additional forms, such as the use of representative or appointing a rep in the Community of Settlement form will be uploaded here. In this section, sponsors are required to upload the refugees' photos for their permanent residence cards. And for groups of five or community sponsors, this section is also where they will upload the refugee status determination document. Other supporting documents, such as travel documents, ID documents, birth, marriage, or education certificates, etc., will go under this section here, with any translation of those documents included in the same file as the original. The principal applicant will either be invited to electronically sign their declaration online, or sponsors will need to upload a PDF version of this form with the principal applicant's signature. You will learn about these two different options for providing the principal applicant's signed declaration in an upcoming segment.